So uh, this is version 21. Uh, you know, this is still very early stages. Uh, I know it's version 21, but trust me, it's it's version 1.21, 1 1.021. 1 um, a lot's been done since I've started working on this. But um, anyway, I'm going to install it, show you the install process. I've moved it into the repos. It's a very early stage, but a lot's been done and it's shaping up really nicely. Now, um, what the user will do is he'll install it like he would install GNOME or XFCE or whatever desktop he normally installs. He would literally, literally just add the repo and run the command, um, which would then be install Makulu Linux desktop dash XFCE or whichever desktop I, I do it for. And uh, as you can see, it, it downloads the packages needed. And once that is done, we will transform this standard, this is a standard Ubuntu 14.04 installation, a standard XFCE, nothing changed, just plain standard out the box. Uh, although I did move the panel to the bottom, I don't like it on top, but apart from that, it's, it's pretty much standard. And I'm going to transform this now, as you'll see, it's just busy downloading. I did uh, pre-install a couple of dependencies prior to making this video, just not to make everything lengthy. As you can see, my internet speed's not the best. I am in a hotel. Um, I think in total, it was a few hundred megabytes of downloads. I brought it down to about 30 with uh, pre-installing some of the existing stuff that, that is needed. Um, anyway, I'll just let it run through. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's doing its thing. Installing some extra dependencies that are needed. And uh, we're basically going to transform this this uh, standard standard XFCE Ubuntu 14.04 standard XFCE desktop. We're going to transform this into a Makulu desktop. Okay, um, there we go. Pops up 21 changes, uh, fixes to panels, blah 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 blah, and it gives you a a nice little pop up that that tells you exactly what it's going to do. And once it's done, once you've read through it, you click continue on installation. Select the user account because, you know, some people run like five users on the system. Select the user account to transform. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Done. It's telling you that it has backed up your existing desktop, which, by the way, it does. It backs up everything that gets changed, everything that's edited, anything that's touched, it backs up. Um, click again. Completed. Click OK to reboot. OK, so that's it. That's how really really easy it is to install this um, it's very automated uh, a couple of clicks and you're done and we're going to reboot the system now as you can see it's rebooting and then we're going to check out the new desktop environment um, on first boot it, it may take a, a couple of seconds for everything to load um, you know it does a couple of additional things get done in the background upon first boot after installing the transformation pack um, but anyway, um, it's very easy to use, as you can see. Uh, and of course, it's still very early stages, so a lot may still change. But uh, even at the at these stages, it's very very easy to use. Okay, log back in, um, and then you'll start noticing after a few seconds. Just give it a give it a moment. It's just setting up things. Anyway, so. Uh, Basically, what this will do is it will transform any existing XFCE into Makulu style XFCE. So it will change your desktop, your icons, your panels. It will put the clock and quotes on the desktop. It will uh, even even third party software will be pre configured. As you can see there, you've got your um, the clock quotes on the desktop. Uh, you can select wallpapers as you can see there. You've got a nice wallpaper selection uh, They are change it to something else uh, And you open the menu. I'm still busy working on the menu, but there we go. You've got the um, The whisker menu instead of the other menu as you can see there. There's a remove button as well get into that into a second um, Okay uh, there's update repositories and a couple of other things. I'm, I'm slowly working on what will actually be in in this this pack and what won't. Um, but anyway, uh, as you can see, the icons are displaying, the wallpapers displaying properly, even the right-click menu 
your context menu is displaying correctly it's got everything in there even open folders root search share scan for threats uh, you know um, the the, tra the transparency on the borders are working correctly as you can see even transparency on the the right click menus so I've transferred that that's that's uh, carried over so that's quite nice um, so slowly for slowly bit by bit I'm actually um, configuring everything as I go you know a few days ago this <laughs> it wasn't really doing much and now I've got the whole desktop just about running anyway so let's remove it again choose OK put in your password easy just run that icon from the menu that's it select the user go OK and it will do app get uninstall some of the front end stuff and then the I've got a script that runs in the background that removes pretty much everything else. Um, I've still got to work on this because I've I've got a couple of extra other new new dev files that get get also you know I've ported things into other dev files. I've got to update that script. Um, not everything exactly on this version gets removed. Majority does though. Um, I've still got to update that, but this is still very early, early, early version. Anyway, you reboot, so re reboot again. We chose to remove Makulu desktop, and uh, basically what that does is that it will, because everything gets backed up. Anything changed gets backed up into a folder. So when you remove, it removes everything new that you put in, and it just copies everything back from the backup folder, transfers everything back to where it's supposed to be, which is all over the show. And then when you reboot, you have your original desktop again, uh, as it was before you installed Makulu uh, desktop. And uh, everything in its right place. Um, as you'll see now, we're logging in again. There we go. Just put in the password. And then just give it a second to do some more configuration. And you can already see it popping up. Uh, it should pop up the wallpaper in a few seconds. Uh, it's just restoring. There we go. There we go. Now you have your desktop as it was before you installed Makulu. Just with one simple click of uh, ah, yes, the Conky screen. I've still got to add the removal script for Conky. So just ignore that. That'll fix probably in the next version or two. Um, to make sure that that gets removed as well like I said this is still very early alpha so I'm still busy configuring what stays what goes um, you know still um, there's a lot of work being done on this at the moment and um, basically this video is just to show it making progress and how simple and easy and quick it is to use this it's amazing man it's gonna be really awesome